I wonder what they mean by AI. <laughs> What's up, you? So, I wonder if they mean like artificial intelligence that's going to be using the gun instead. Because that would be pretty cool. To have an AI control that gun and then just fire it off randomly. If it's probably not going to aim at weak spots, but I mean, hey, you know it's it's going to be what it is. Yeah, but I should be able to go through the front armor unless he's up over a hill a little bit. It's kind of flat on. Should be able to rip through that top armor, which is gonna be pretty nice. Cause that 230 is what's killing me. Okay. AI rear, like someone pulls around the corner, gets shot at by the AI, and it's like, what's going on? Is he aiming at me? And pulls back. Realizes it's just the AI. Screw it, we're gonna use some permanent camo because I'm keeping this permanently. I enjoy this tank. Um M M84? Glitch. Ah. Two tone? Tiger? I'm gonna go tiger. Oh, dude, I love how the new mic looks too. Like, it, it stands out. It's got its own personality altogether, you know? Hi. It's kind of got like that chrome look to it. And you know, we did complete the challenge with this tank, so why not? I hate how they do this so much. There it is. Wish I had like 9,000 of these. But I don't. So I gotta be real specific on the tank I choose. Um, alright, big gun. Question for you. Um, should we try and do speed? Sacrifice some ventilation? Go after some speed? Or... What should we do? Like, should I, should I re... You know what? Um, should I redo the crew and make a build for the tank? Like, make a complete build for the Czech Czechoslovakian setups. That way I, I get a better idea whenever I do the tier 10. Because I still haven't done the review on that yet. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna take the crew. We're gonna go take a look at skills. I'm gonna take myself off for two seconds. I'm gonna screenshot this. Now, we're gonna reset. So, starting off, born leader, rapid loading, guaranteed, six sense, situational awareness, track mechanic. Okay, those are the five basic perks I take. You don't need rapid loading, but it needs reload, why not? Um, okay, now from here, let's go ahead and take a look at the tank statistics itself. Let's take a look at the accuracy, 0.29. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. And that's also with vertical stabilizers equipped, so let's go ahead and drop verts for power terrain. 
0.36. That's bad. That's bad. Ouch. But power to weight went from 15.63 to 16.47. That this is gonna be fast. Okay. Um, aim time 2.44. That's pretty gnarly. So now let's come back to the commander. Take this. We're gonna go skills. Uh, let's do steady aim, and that's it. That's gonna be the only accuracy perk to kind of help us get an idea on where we want to have that. 0.32, that's a comfort zone right there. It's below 0.33, that's a really good comfort zone. Um, aim time though, it's it's a little high, so it takes some time to aim, but it's gonna be very responsive. So up next, take a look at terrain resistance. Uh, we're gonna wanna, definitely gonna wanna run off-road driving. Haul rotation speed at 30 is okay. Gun depression, seven degrees. Uh, let's off-road driving and what's turret rotation again? Why do you make this so difficult? 33.22, is that still calculating the old skill? Thirty-three point two two. No, that just seems like it's base. Okay, so that's just base. We're just we're just gonna say it's base. Okay, now off-road driving guaranteed. Ah, yes, wheel mechanic. Totally useful for every single tank in the game. Totally not meant to be one thing. You like, well, 33.22 is already fast. Like, I don't, don't get me wrong, like, the 6% the bump up, or 10% bump up is pretty nice. So, got 33.22, where's my calculator? 33.22 plus 10%. 36.54? I don't see the benefit. I don't see it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have that faster rotation. But I'd actually rather go with um, clutch braking. Get that up to like 32. Because then you can actually out-rotate uh, light tanks to try to circle you. So... Plus, if we, if we do rapid aim, that's going to make our dispersion value whenever we aim the turret, left and right, wider. And we're trying to keep our bloom in as tight as we can while staying on the move. And dropping vertical stabilizer is going to be the limiting factor on that. So we're going to be blooming out quite a bit. We don't want to run rapid aim to make our bloom wider. So... Uh, shell penetration. That actually doesn't sound too bad for the tier 8 since it's got such low pin rounds. But we're not going to do it. So, controlled impact. Um, I'm actually going to bring you guys with me. There's turrets. It's okay, it's for the commander game mode. Uh, tier 8, we're going to go Heavy, Chesavakian. Um, the tank weighs 48,000. So 48 tons. That's not heavy enough to take controlled impact. That's too light. That's a good way to get hit hard. So, I guess we'll avoid that. So... Supply conversion. Um, adrenaline rush for whenever HP gets below 10% for whatever reason. You're literally better off with last stand. Uh, these these two perks, it's literally last stand all the way. Dead eye, 6% chance to uh, enemy crew modules the AP, APCR. This would actually be perfect. Because you have a double shot, so you have to double the chance, and it's increased by 6% each time you shoot. This could be perfect. But I don't see the benefit to it. We still got two more perks, so... 
we can't come up with anything, we're just gonna go rapid aim and clutch braking. Or we just might do um, snapshot and rapid aim. Because if we go snapshot, that's their turret rotation. Snapshot would counteract what rapid aim does. You know what? That actually... Oh my god, that's that's so much better. That's so much better. Alright, we're gonna... Okay. Born leader. Rapid loading. Sixth sense. Situational awareness. Track mechanic. Off-road driving. Snapshot. Snapshot. Rapid aim. That's the combination right there. Yeah. 0.32 is what we had prior. But 10% increase to accuracy, that's overall accuracy. That's the part that's confusing. We'll just do both. Might be what? 0 0.29? 0 0.28. I kind of want to say 0.28. Point 0.32. Did not change. I like that. It did not change because rapid aim should not apply to your overall accuracy, which means they finally did fix it. That's good to see. So that means now our bloom's going to stay tighter as we rotate the turret. That's going to be the way to go. Get that rapid aim increase and then keep that bloom nice and tight. You know what? That's actually probably if they change it the way I think they did, I'm mean, gonna have to redo my perk loadout and explain what perks do again. Because that means they actually made it to where it keeps the bloom tighter. Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay, so we're going to give this a shot. We're going to see how this performs with the new crew loadout. This is a lot different than the last crew loadout. Well, not super different, just a couple perks different. But we're going to find out. Because snapshot should keep your bloom in tighter as you spin the turret. Which makes your aim time faster. Because beforehand, they used to all apply towards accuracy, which means that they did fix it. That's nice to know. Is that an 8 or 9 to my far left? Top tier. That's a Brigetto. Scare should probably send him a whisper rather than an open reply. Coffee time! Oh my god. Wow! That bump in speed. That is tremendous. That looks like a tight bloom. Look at that. That is responsive. That's going to be nice because you want to get your turret on the target as fast as you can. Look at that thing go. That's Born Leader combined with... You know, Born Leader might be the one that's buffing turret rotation. And Born Leader is kind of like just an overall must-have. Look at that bloom out, though. Okay, we're gonna give this a 
good run. We're not gonna mess with it for a few matches. We're gonna keep it and see how it goes. A lot of heavies here. I'm actually going to go ahead and start loading in the premium. And I'm also going to cut all the way far left. The speed feels really good though. Not going to lie. That power to weight bump, you can definitely feel it. There's nowhere to get hauled down against that VK. It does. It also feels pretty nippy. Rapid aim? Alright, probably I could probably switch back to AP because we're gonna try and hit the under armor. Right about. Not there anymore. It's gone. Our Under Armour is gone. 14 to 15. This is a very, very close game right now. I don't like it being this close. I gotta, I gotta, I got to do something. It's in the back. VK? No, not a VK, that's a T-34. Let me through. The Bate. The gun doesn't feel too bad. You want to give it just a couple more seconds than normal to uh, be a little bit more responsive. You don't want to just snap. Is that good for the AVX 12 ton? The shot looks like it came from he Oh, travel time. That's awesome. Never mind. That was pretty cool. You know what? We're actually going to lock down right here. We're not going to move. Medium tank power to weight, 52 top speed, heavy armor in the front, good turret. Yeah, this thing is just, it's an all-rounder. This thing is all-round amazing. Decent traverse speed, fantastic turret rotation. It is definitely an, an all-rounder, for sure. Oops, you overexposed your side. Maybe 76, but it's kind of... I don't know. Um, Super Pershing's got some really funky armor on the sides. That is for sure. That's not good. We gotta start making a difference here or fall apart fast. What was the medium that was over here? T20? T20's over there. Plus the way this match has been, it's been really slow. There hasn't been a lot of like rapid aiming moments where you gotta really get that gun on target quick. 
Look at that distance. Start a reload. You make some really good cover. Two to three, I need to make a difference. Okay, pass. Uh, the ending there was a little bit nippy. Fast. That was a good fast ending. Um, the shot on the T20 was a really good... Like, that kind of felt really nice with how the gun handled. So, I, I think... Like, you can improve it a little bit. I don't think you might need snapshot. You could probably drop snapshot. But the power terrain... You can definitely feel the difference with the power terrain. Above my pay skill, skill-wise. Oh, man, come on. What are you talking about? Oh, then again, this is a big gun. This is what I'm here to do. I'm here to test, change stuff, use my skill to give people the best builds for the tank. And if they can't play with the best builds, to give them a better build that focuses out certain categories. That way they can perform inside the tank. So that's kind of my goal to be able to do that. That way later down the road, whenever someone asks like, oh, how do you have this set up? I can stop and I can give them, do you want the support role? Do you want the offensive role? Or, you know, that way I can give you guys an idea on how to put stuff together rather than Eclipse Gaming that puts out videos and is all like, you need to build this way. This is the only way this tank is good. Because in all reality, he plays less than 40 matches a month. Well, used to, I don't know what it is now. But last time I looked, yeah, 40 matches a month. And he's got the biggest following. 
No, no M3 Lee. That's tier four. You can find that out by yourself. Oh, inside the warehouse, you normally die? Dude, there's a lot of really good positions inside that warehouse. You just need to time it well. Also, what I really like about this match, like, the absolute most, I wish I had this match for the review. Look at the damage blocked. Look at the actual damage dealt. Not just that, we were switching back and forth between standards and premiums and utilizing both. We weren't just going down like one set path. I was using both rounds based upon the targets I was aiming at. So that's a good, you know, that's a really good sign. 3,430 blocked. Okay. Um, you do fill the stabilizer gone. However, you do you do feel that. You kinda I kinda feel like I had to stop for a split second longer and aim in that shell to be able to hit the target correctly. So kinda wondering, could we drop ventilation for gun stabilizer? How much would ventilation uh, hurt us by? 18.69? Nice. Soft and firm train look exactly the same. Did we put off-road driving on? We did. Okay, so I'm a little confused. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, um... Rate of fire accuracy, 0 0.32. 2 2.44 aim time. If we could tighten that aim time down rather than accuracy... 8.69 though, but then if we drop ventilation, a lot of things are going to suffer. View range, terrain resistance. I don't think power to weight will suffer at all, but reload time, accuracy, and aim time will all suffer. But the benefit is, way better accuracy by putting on uh, stabilizer. Because aim time is 12%, and then uh, stabilizer is 20% accuracy. I don't know. Hey, uh, you can't change out one skill. You gotta pay for a whole freaking respec. Um, turret rotation. 12% accuracy during turret rotation, though. That did feel pretty good, but it wasn't... It wasn't used a whole lot. But then again, that's kind of situational. Then again, if you're firing, you're not moving a whole lot. And I do slow down the fire. Which you can't see because my big ass is in the way. Um, the twelve percent for light tanks. Are, are we talking about aim time or snapshot? We don't have a lot of useful perks for heavies. We're really limited. Because, I mean, Deadeye would be okay, but you gotta have a bigger gun to be able to utilize Deadeye. 